What's up guys? So thanks for coming back to watch another Dugster Bob Complete Bike Tournament video. In this video, we're gonna break down two different bikes. They're gonna go head to head and we're gonna see which bike I would buy if I had a certain amount of money and which bike honestly is just a little bit better for the price. So if you guys have no idea what's going on in this video, I urge you to pause it right now and check out the video in the description with all the rules explaining how I got the scores, where the scores come from and everything like that. Go check that out. If you know what's going on, let's get right into the video. Now today we're looking at the Sunday X and it's going against the We The People Reason. The We The People Reason beat the Mongoose Legion in an earlier round and the Sunday X actually beat the Cult Devotion. So it was the Cult Devotion, I just had to double check. But the Sunday X has two different variations. There's a $509 version and a $529 version. One is Eric Elstrand's signature, the other one is Julian Ortega's signature. One has a free coaster, one has a cassette. Whereas the We The People Reason is a $599 bike, there's a very big price difference and looking at the scores, they're actually very similar which is concerning from the reasons aspect because it is so much more expensive. Why is it more expensive? You know what I mean? We're gonna dive right into that. All right, but before we get too in depth with all the specs and the points and everything like that, I need you to go down comment which bike you think is going to win. If you're right, you're going to move on and be a winner with the bike that wins. If you're wrong, you're going to just uh, not win. So, so go do that right now. All right, so I just added those, uh, those specs. Let's talk about each bike. Now the We The People Reason is a full Kamali bike with one single wall rim. It has a free coaster. It has four hub guards. It has two pegs and it weighs 27.2 pounds. Now the Sunday X, like I said, it has two different variations. One of those variations has a free coaster. The bike, frame forks, bars, full Kamali, but it has one single wall rim, just like the Reason. It weighs 24.9 pounds, which is, which is significantly cheaper but that's because this weight includes the pegs and the hub guards. This weight has no pegs or hub guards. So you can see they're, they're honestly kind of similar. I mean, the biggest difference here is that price, and there is a slight difference in the Dugster Bob score. The We The People Reason scored slightly higher, and there's a couple of reasons for that. So let's just dive right into the scores. Looking at the looks of the bike, the Sunday X got a 22 and the We The People Reason got a 25. Now, they both have two different variations essentially. The X comes in like a glossy raw and a red, when the We The People Reason comes in a matte black with oil slick cranks and then a baby blue looking color. Um, but overall, these bikes are both fully customizable. There's two different color options. And in my opinion, I think the reason just looks a little bit cleaner, the way it's built and the colors that they chose to go with. I think the matte black with the oil slick on the cranks looks amazing. And the baby blue is kind of cool. This, the colors on the Sunday is just a little bit basic and uh, it doesn't look, it just doesn't look as good. If you disagree, let me know in the comments, but, but that's why the scores vary just a little bit. So what I'm looking for in the street section, does this bike have pegs? Does it have hub guards? Does it have a free coaster? Can it withstand big drops and big gap, uh, big gaps associated with gnarly street riding? Uh, the Sunday X doesn't have pegs. It doesn't have hub guards. It does have a free coaster version and the quality overall can withstand big gnarly street riding. However, I'd be a little skeptical about the single wall front rim. We'll talk about that more in the quality section. But the We The People Reason has pegs, has hub guards, has a sprocket with a bash guard so you can do crooked grinds, you could grind on opposite sides. The quality is, is just the same as the X, very good aside from that single wall rim. And, uh, but because of the pegs and the hub guards, it's gonna score a little bit better. So now let's look at the park section. When I'm judging a bike on park, I look at the geometry as one of the biggest factors. If you guys look at any complete bike that's gonna come out uh, for park spe specificity, it's gonna come with a gyro, it's gonna come with 
very responsive geometry. So like a steep head tube angle, a short chain stay, a lower standover height. Having geometry like this really gonna, is gonna make the bike easier to maneuver to learn those technical park tricks. So those are two of the biggest things. I also look at how the tires are gonna grip and how much rolling resistance they do or do not have in park. You know, it's super important to have that speed when you're cruising through the park. Uh, big knobby tires have a lot of rolling resistance. So as you're rolling, they start to slow you down and that's not really beneficial for park. So the Sunday X got an 11 and the We The People Reason got a 15. The biggest reason for this is because the We The People Reason, God, that's, I've said reason like five times right there, but anyway, this bike um, has, has a lot more responsive geometry than the Sunday X, and that's one of the biggest factors. Both of these bikes have holes drilled for gyro tabs, so you can put a gyro on it, but it doesn't come with the gyro. The Sunday X went up against the Colt Devotion, and the Devotion didn't even, you can't even put gyro tabs on that bike because it has an hourglass shape. So fortunately, both of these bikes are gyroable, and the reason has a little bit more of a responsive geometry, which is overall gonna make it better for riding park than the Sunday X. However, it's very important to note that neither of these bikes are built specifically for park. You can ride park on them, but it's not the best idea. There's a bunch of videos that I have out about more park specific bikes, if that's something that you're interested in. Most of these, these bikes are a lot more for street. Obviously, you can tell by the score. All right, so my favorite part is the quality section. And surprisingly, both of these bikes did, they're, they're identical, right? They're both full chromoly frame forks and bars, both of them. Both of them have a double wall rim in the back and a single wall rim in the front. I don't love this, but it's not a game changer. Um, I talk about this a lot, but essentially having a single wall front rim in the front it's not going to take as much impact as it would if it was in the back. So you're not going to get, it's not going to kill the bike right away. In very rare cases, do you nose case a jump hard enough to mess up that single wall front rim? Or, you know, you, doing spins off of things is going to take a lot of impact on the back rim, but not necessarily the front. So this is kind of annoying that these bikes are so expensive and they don't have a double wall front rim, but it's something we got to deal with. So the quality is very similar and the price difference is very big. And this is kind of a red flag to me, but we'll talk about that later. I re actually went really in depth on that in the We The People Reason review that I did. Check that out to see why I'm kind of upset that this bike is $600 and uh, not double wall rims and just not the best quality that it could be for 600. That's in a different video, check that out. But the Dugster Bob score. Okay, the Sunday X got a 99 out of 200 and the We The People Reason got a 109 out of 200. This is because it did a little better in street and a little better in the look section. Um, overall, this is very similar and the price difference doesn't really justify that sim similarity there. Before I go in and, and decide which one I would spend my $600 on and which bike would move into the final round, let's talk real quick about who each bike is for. So the Sunday X is a very good bike. I'd say it's for someone who's not necessarily 1000% committed that they wanna be doing technical street riding. Since the geometry is a little broader, it's not as technical as this one, and you can use it to kind of figure out the, the broader spectrum of street riding. What I mean by that is like Gary Young goes a lot faster and a lot, it's just a whole different street style versus someone like uh, Jake Seeley, right? The way that Gary Young rides is way different. So this is more of like a Gary Young style um, geometry, whereas this one's a lot more technical for like Garrett Reynolds type riding. But this is gonna be for someone mid-level for sure because of the quality. Um, you wanna be careful with that single wall front rim and you're kind of on a budget because this is right at that $500 price, rank, price 
point and it's not way extra, it's not way over. So if you're kind of on a budget, you're kind of a mid-level rider and you're looking for a bike that you can ride some street on and figure out which type of street riding you really enjoy, the X is gonna be a good choice for you. I would also recommend it for someone who wants either a cassette or a free coaster version. Now the ideal person for the We The People reason is someone who has a good amount of money and wants a nice looking bike. The utility aspect isn't something that you're necessarily concerned about. For me, I always try and push you guys to get the best bang for your buck bike. The reason is not one of those bikes that's the best bang for your buck because it is a little bit overpriced. It has the full Kermali, so you should be a mid-level rider. It will withstand to mid-level riding and it's really technical. So technical bikes are kind of hard to find. This has really snappy, really responsive geometry. And so if you wanna ride street, kind of like Garrett Reynolds, this bike is gonna help you get in that direction. But again, it's pretty expensive. So if you loved hearing about both of these bikes, I went really in depth on their individual reviews. The links for those are in the description. Check those out. But let's get to the important question. Which bike is moving on and which bike is losing? If I had $600 and I had to buy one of these bikes, uh, in terms of the value for the money, which one would I choose? I would hands down go with the Sunday X because I think the reason is a little bit overpriced. I could save, like let's say I go with the free coaster version, which is 530. That right there saves me $70 that I could buy a double wall rim and throw it on front. I could buy some pegs, I could buy some hub guards. There's a lot of different things I could buy with the $70 that I would save going with the X. And in all, you know, all consideration, it's, it's essentially the same quality. The only thing you're missing out on is the sprocket with a bash guard, the hub guards and the pegs, which you could buy. Most people don't need four pegs right away. They're still learning feebles. They're still learning like grinds on one side. So you're gonna be fine buying those with that, that extra amount of money. That's what I would spend my money on. And uh, yeah, so the Sunday X is gonna move forward into the final round. And the We The People reason is not. So if you picked the Sunday X, congratulations, you are a winner. Now, that is the We The People reason versus the Sunday X. But before you go, don't forget, I compiled all these videos together into one really long video that walks through the whole tournament, shows every single comparison so that we get all the way to the end and see the winner. If you guys wanna go watch that right after this video, I'm gonna pop it up on the end screen. So go check that out, see which one won the five to $600 bracket. If you love what I'm doing for BMX and you wanna be an official part of the community, come hang out with me on the lives. Every week I go live for a little bit, probably about an hour, and you can literally ask any question you have about BMX. I'll answer it, I'll talk to you guys. We have a great community of people hanging out in there and I genuinely have so much fun doing it. So enjoy the rest of your day and leave a comment. Tell me, do you agree with my decision to move the Sunday X forward or would you have moved forward the We The People reason? Let me know. Peace.